considerable force in the music industry today when it comes to dressing up in the old 18th century outfits to enforce empowerment how you can overcome situations and way back then if she had been a presence she would have made women much more different it's about empowerment basically and her songs are strong forceful and needed today because a lot of people are weakened by the world's activities and about living so when it comes to actually who she is there's very little on the person itself it says she is a folk rock musician songwriter born in san francisco california and raised in bonn germany and auckland new zealand her music is folk rock with techno influences and her songs and videos are heavily inspired by mythology history particularly focusing on women's empowerment and her costumes and videos are heavily influenced by cottage gore which is the 18th century of way of dressing as you'll see in this video and i'm going to say to everybody now this is a video you need to sit back and watch it's a bit slow in the beginning but boy does the music the lyrics and the video take a whole spell on you put no sorry not take puts a whole spell on you because you just become wow how have i never heard of her before she is quite something and i'm delighted to bring her onto my channel and as i said underrated new artists like herself and give them the chance to shine she says about this particular video itself burn your village is a big sister song she's the one with the bite this is the revenge chapter you're about to hear and also from studying the lyrics i would put it's a fierce anthem explores empowerment revenge claiming one's agency the song's lyrics portray a strong and assertive individual who refuses to be silenced or controlled by others particularly by those who use their power to exploit and objectify i'm going to do an extremely beautiful and powerful image on a thumbnail to attract people to this particular video because when you switch on i don't want you to switch on off to me talking too much you will love kiki rockwell and what she stands for i just think she's quite defined this year 2019 many many artists but she's up there in the top five i just think she's brilliant why take a listen and i'll have the lyrics straight after <laughs>
say Kiki you're my newfound beautiful white witch that comes to save the women in that particular video I have to say your artistic your artistic nature your sense of thought-provoking lyrics combined with the person who created the costumes all the dancers involved big thumbs up to every to the location to how it was filmed it's epic in all that lacks in videos today Kiki what you have done is created a story of empowerment for women that will continue in chapters that are worth watching chapters that when you watch you absorb and you take in what you're trying to say because of the surrounding very cleverly done and on top of that you're extraordinarily gifted I enjoyed that I enjoyed the message I enjoyed everything about it and it's totally different it's raw and it's as good as you're going to get when it comes to hitting you with the lyrics that you want to teach which is what I'm about to tell you I've done a summary of the lyrics because I knew what was going to be curtailed in this particular so I'm just going to go through my summary as I said that was a pit that video was powerful and fierce in its anthem it's about empowerment it's about revenge it's about reclaiming one's energy now verse one says the lyrics vividly depict the narrator's ability to bring destruction and chaos it provoked lines like I could burn your motherfucking village to the ground and I could crack your skull between these motherfucking thighs metaphorically convey the narrator's strength and determination to retaliate against those who have wronged them the references to which is drowning and slaying and dragons serve only to emphasize the narrator's resilience and ability to overcome challenges the chorus to me provides insight into the daily struggle the fear that the, she experiences as they navigate a world where they are constantly objectified and hunted the line touch me again and I'll cut off your hand expresses the unwavering determination to protect themselves assert their boundaries the chorus also conveys a sense of isolation and incomprehension suggesting that others may never fully understand her experiences and fears a woman's experiences and fears and the pre-chorus highlights the duality between society's labels and expectations very much today placed upon women such as mother sister slut I can't mention the other word for YouTube guidelines and the defiance in embracing those identities they take ownership of their own sexuality and assert that they are divine goddesses because in the in the the lyrics you hear it you might be the one that paid but I'm the one with the coins in my pocket that sense of empowerment that sense of I'm in control I have the money 
you're paying me because you desire and want me not the other way around so I can charge as much as I want the more you want and desire the more I charge that kind of empowerment and taking ownership of the situation is what it's about even if it is through sexuality and there, there's a divine goddess that's mentioned in the lyrics the vengeful daughter of the witch suggesting maybe a link to female power and autonomy now the bridge in the lyrics con confronts social expectations and gender roles and it challenges you to reevaluate those based on the lyrics and what you see in the video they reject the notion of being an angel or a saint and instead encourage embracing individuality and refusing to conform to society's norms the reference of being shackled and getting down on the knees as you see in her in front of the priest implies that rebellious nature within herself to oppress that and assert their existence as a powerful and divine being so she stands up and rises above that and when you're sitting and there's a person standing in front of you you're the one that feels small so this very symbolic in that but that also reflects in people's lives now the song concludes with a repetitive german phrase dear hamel in smin zimmer which translates the sky is my room this repetition of reinforcing that is about freedom refusal to be confined it almost like think of the nazis over the jews it's that scenario situation how can i be controlled by a man how dare he have that control or a priest tell me what to do or anybody actually in the male form and it symbolizes the ability to rise above it and suggest that their own destiny and won't let anything hold them back overall my view of kiki this video is about empowerment encouraging you the listener to personally empower yourself challenge society's norms and ways and of thinking if it doesn't suit you conform to what you believe suits you and live your life true to yourself is what it's about and it's about resilience through the ups and downs of doing that and not in in today's world feeling you're a woman and i'm a man today very much women are on equal power i've had many a female boss to prove that in my lifetime and don't it's about women not feeling marginalized or objectified and reminding them this is the important thing this whole video and kiki's work that they're not alone and they have the right they have the power to rise above any situation and be as strong as their fellow counterparts the men and take control of whatever ails them or upsets them what they need to do to move on in life to have a life there you go that's my summary for this thank you for listening take care